to oblivion and back. I always heard the legends in my childhood, but we always thought they were fairy tales. But they're true. Excellent. Well done, my friend. I'm ready to go, but there's just one thing. I'm getting too old for fighting. Well, at least by myself, that is. I was hoping that it wouldn't be too much of a burden on you to escort me to the keep. There's another 250 gold in it for you, if you will. I'm right behind you, but don't go too fast. Unlike you young ones, I'm not cut out for this shite anymore. Valerius Tiberius Arctoria, you old dog. Come here, my friend, let us have a look at you. Marcus, why have you come here? Valerius, I'm sure this is quite a shock to you, and terribly unexpected. I came here to check on my family, but it appears none of them survived. Then I realized you were here, so I decided it was in both our interests for two old friends to meet again. At last. Ah, oh, your brother, yes. Marcus, I'm very sorry. But whatever the circumstances, it does my eyes good to see you again after all these years. Yes. Same here, old friend. Same here. So, the Keepers of Hatu in Skyrim. Who would have ever dreamed of such a time? All right, Janice. What is it you really want? Don't forget, I know you, so out with it! Yes, you do know me, old friend, better than most. Very well. I aim to rebuild this town, and make her my home. Rebuild? Janice, I have no intention of helping you or anyone else rebuild a town. I'm here on... other business. Yes, yes, I know, Valerius, but if what I propose is true, perhaps we can be mutually beneficial to one another. All I'm asking is that you hear me out. After that, if we're not in agreement, we can part ways and you'll likely never see me again. But, Valerius, there's plenty of time to get to all that later. Right now, let's just catch up on old times. Well, you're in luck, Janice. Those bandits left some fresh wine downstairs, and I need a drink. Yes, I could use a drink too, old friend. Let me say goodbye to my new friend, and I'll join you. I huh? can't thank you enough for your help. As agreed, here's your compensation. I apologize for that. I certainly wasn't intentionally keeping anything from you. I just wanted to meet with Valerius before I brought it up. But yes, I want to make Helgen my home. But she certainly has seen better days, that's for sure. 
You know, I grew up just across the border in Cyrodiil. And Helgen was always a place my family visited when I was a boy. I have many fond memories of those days. And now, with my brother and his family gone, let's just say he'd be happy that I settled here. And from what I could tell as we came in, it'll be a lot of work cleaning everything up. But nothing impossible. Then we can take a look at what's left of these buildings and begin rebuilding from there. I'm sure there'll be plenty of work for you if you're interested. Why don't you take a day and think about it? That'll give Valerius and I some time to catch up and come up with a plan. Can you return to see us in a day or so? Thank you once again, friend. I'll see you then. Well then, Marcus, let's go get that wine. You're in one piece, so I trust your trip went smoothly. Yes, fortunately it was without incident. Of course, I have a Heard the legends. Well fought, Dragonborn. I thought they were fairy tales. They're true. You have no idea of the true power a Dragonborn can wield. So you defeated Aldwood and saved Skyrim. There will be songs written for you for years, friend. Can I help you, friend? Ah, yes, we've been waiting for you. Now that you're here, we have a matter of grave importance to discuss with you. So you really think this nonsensical plan of yours will work, Val? Janice, it has to work. We have no choice. Now then. Reporting as ordered, sir. Good. The armor looks good on you, too. <laughs> well, it itches. And it stinks. It's had a dead man in it. What do you expect? So, now that we're all here... Valerius, would you like to fill in our friend on your plan? Did you ever stop to wonder how my men and I came to this place? Well, yes, but that's not all of it. Up until a couple of weeks ago, we were still in Cyrodiil. And our sources began reporting on new Thalmor activity taking place south of here. Rumor was that they were turning an old fort into a prison for captured Talos worshippers. And I deemed the reports credible enough to investigate. I sent my best man, Korst, on the mission. He was ordered not to confront them, but to observe only. Unfortunately, he did not return, and I'm afraid something went very wrong. About two weeks. After one week went by, we'd started to fear the worst, so we mobilized and came here. Finding Korst is the main reason we're here. This fort gave us the perfect spot to rest, resupply, and prepare to find out what happened to him. So, we eliminated the bandits, took over the fort, Tried to blend in and not draw attention to ourselves. Yes, fortunately, the Imperials left everything behind when they abandoned this place. 
It looks like Ellen Wen herself was here. I need you to pose as an Imperial officer with orders to transfer Korst back to Ellen Wen for interrogation. Legion prisoner transfer parties always travel in groups of three, so Falco and Sienna will be going with you. As you can see, they're already in Imperial uniform, and you must do the same if this has any chance of working. We found some officer's armor that should fit you, and Alton put a little enchantment on it for you. It's only worn by high-ranking officers, so it should help you carry a bit more influence. If you have any other powers of persuasion, this would be the time to use them. Perhaps between the two it will be enough for this to work. While searching the fort we found a communique from her own hand, and were able to forge a transfer order to give to the men at the prison. If the Thalmor officers question you, remind them you're a special envoy from the Embassy, and they had best comply. Hopefully it'll be enough. But if not, you may have to resort to the old-fashioned way of negotiating. Yes, it certainly will be. And make no mistake, those Thalmor bastards are beyond brutal. And I've heard there's a particularly ruthless Justicier named Arendelle who may be in charge there. If it's the Arendelle I know, you can be certain he will kill you on sight. So, you must be careful. Thank you, friend. You know... Marcus seems to be quite impressed with you. Well, if he trusts you, then I trust you. The prison is located south of here, on the road past Fort Newgrad, heading to the Cyrodiil border. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Here's your arm. Don't forget to put it on. Please, return as soon as you can. And good luck. In... In Marcus and I catching.
Who are you? And what do you want? What? We'll see about this. I haven't been notified of any such orders. I'll have to clear this with my superior. Wait here. I'm sorry. I haven't been given any orders concerning any transfer. I'm not able to release the prisoner at this time. Yes, I've heard of you. It seems you're known as a hero in this petty civil war of yours. That's why we don't kill you on sight. Well... Enjoy your time in the sun, Legionnaire. Your time will come soon enough. The reign of men will soon be over. Of what? You suggest I comply? Yes, yes, I know. Very well, then. This place seems to be a revolving door of transfers anyway. Prisoners coming in, prisoners going back out, could make a lesser being crazy. And I'm sure Erendil will not be happy when he returns. But he will just have to take that up with Ellenwyn, won't he? Very well. Oronar will escort you to your prisoner. But you had better not tarry. Get your prisoner and leave. <laughs> then, I'm going to put you on my rack over there for a nice little stretch. <laughs> Geno, stop that immediately and back away. This prisoner is being transferred to the embassy. Back away? I'm finally making some progress and he's just about to break. And you tell me to back away? Have you gone mad? I will do no such thing. Oh yes you will, and you will do it now. You can take up your grievance with Erend. Now step aside. This is madness, I tell you. Madness! I was given specific orders to interrogate this prisoner, and that's exactly what I am doing. Damn it, Gaynor. We have orders from Ellenman to transfer this prisoner. Now back away, or you're going on report. Very well, then. But Ellenville will have your head, not mine. You may release your prisoner from his shackles and leave at once. I advise you to move quickly, as my friend can get a little... Test. Yes, I suggest you do that immediately. Please, thank you. Let me, let me see if I can walk. So dizzy. What are you looking at, you gnawed dog? I should have just killed you when I had the chance. General, I'm warning you. Stop! 
Oh. Hello! Always good to see you, Dragonborn. Good to see you. I've never been a religious man myself. The people should be able to worship as they please, or not at all if they choose to. Sure, Splones, I see now why Marcus has spoken so highly of you. Quite impressive. Now, let's see if we can find out what in the name of Akatosh is going on in that prison. Of course, thank the gods you're safe. But how in oblivion were you even captured? I don't know how they found me. It's like they knew exactly where I was hiding. Never had a chance to escape. Well, thanks to our new friend, you're okay now. Tell me what you learned. Hmm? It's a prison, all right, and it's heavily guarded inside. Well, it was heavily hmm? guarded. There are none alive in there now. The commandant was never there that I could tell. Did anyone mention where he was? I overheard the guards talking about him getting soft in their embassy. And spending too much time with some whore from the Tormas Tavern. But that's all I could hear them say. Did you learn anything else? Well, I didn't think much of it at the time. But I overheard the guard talking about how many prisoners were coming and going from the prison. And I noticed several new prisoners had probably get taken away while I was there. Just like he said. They were not tortured, beaten or starved either. I guess they saved all of that for me. And wait. Yes. One group had a family. A woman and a small child, but he was not old enough to fight. The guard was joking about raping the woman and selling the child to bandits as a slave. Could that be true? They are selling slaves? Well now, that's certainly a lot to chew on. Excellent work, old friend. I'll check and see if any of my sources know about it. Thank you, Korst. Go get something to eat and some sleep. I need you well rested. Dismiss it. You've done Go me a great you. service, friend. You saved his life, and for that I will never be able to repay you. Is there anything else you can add? Did you hear anything about slaves? That is odd, isn't it? So it looks like the elves are up to no good. <laughs> Where else to easily kidnap people than in Skyrim? All they have to say is that they're worshipping Talos. I'm sure many of these enforcers skulking about in Skyrim are under their command. I know you've had a long day, and I won't keep you. We'll let you know when we have anything new. But please, check in with Marcus as soon as you can. Thank you again, my friend. I've heard the Companions named you as Harbinger. Couldn't have picked a better person, if you asked me. I praise the Nine you came along. Your help thus far has been invaluable, but it's time to make some difficult choices. Valerius and I have spoken at length about this. We value your opinion. We need more guards for the hold, as there's only a few of us right now. We're vulnerable to attack from several fronts, especially from the entrance through the caves, as well as the two main gates. 
There is no possible way that laborers and carpenters can begin their work if they're not able to do so safely. We need more guards. Elgin was once controlled by the Empire, and I'm sure they want it back. And of course, your service to the Empire was legendary. But once you make this choice, there's no going back. So please, choose wisely. Are you certain this is what you want? Very well then. You'll need to contact an old friend of ours. His name is Shadrach Oakenheart. According to Valerius, he's still on active duty and has a camp near Winterhold. Pull him to the side and tell him my sword sings with the heart of Frandar Hunding. He'll no doubt be shocked. But he'll also know what it means. Tell him we need his help. And report back to me when you can. Over. I feel better now, don't you? Well, I like moonlit walks through the old ruins, candlelit workshops, and the feel of cold steel in my hand. You know, the same stuff as other women. I'm not quite sure how to take that, so I'll take it as a compliment. If you're wondering how I ended up with a bunch of old soldiers from the Great War, they saved my life. When the elves burnt our farm, my parents hid me in a basket in the woods. Balfring found me and gave me to an orphanage until the war in Hammerfell was over, but he kept in touch through the years. And when I was old enough to be on my own, I joined them. He taught me everything I know about fighting and especially armory. Say, from what I saw at the prison, you know how to handle yourself out there. But if you ever want any company, come and get me, okay? So you're the new Archmage I've heard about. Okay, what is it? Ooh, I hope we're going somewhere dark and misty. Let's go. 